Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you joined me today. I want to read from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, beginning at verse 29. It says, The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me cometh the man which is preferred before me, for he was before me. And I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore I am, am I come baptizing with water. And John bare record, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptizeth with the Holy Ghost. And I saw and bear record that this is the Son of God. Again the next day after John stood and two of his disciples and looking upon Jesus, as he walked, he saith, Behold the Lamb of God. Well, the Lamb of God is one of the names of Jesus Christ, and it refers to uh, the very significant purpose and reason why he came to be born in a stable and to grow up and then to uh, select his followers and to train them and then to go to the cross and be crucified for you and me. He came as the Lamb of God. You remember that story where the angels came and uh, declared to the shepherds in the fields that uh, the, uh, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, was going to be born in Bethlehem and uh, that he would be the Lamb of God. And so, of course, the shepherds, they took off and went into Bethlehem to see the child that was born. Actually, they were being told, there's coming a day when you're going to be out of work because the lambs that you're raising for slaughter at the temple won't be needed anymore. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, gave his life once for all to die for our sins, all of our sins, and to suffer the wrath of God in our place. He came to give his life for you and for me. That's what a lot of people didn't understand about him when he was called the Lamb of God. It meant he came to give his life for us. That's an amazing thing. When you think about who we are, God loves you and me so much that he was willing to give his son, Jesus Christ, for us. God has always dealt with transgression. That means violating the law of God or committing sin through the blood of sacrifices. He always did that. Since Adam and Eve in the garden, an animal was slain and the blood was shed and the animal skin was used to cover Adam and Eve. From that point on, we're supposed to wear clothes. But when it came to the time of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, his death, once for all, was adequate to cover the sins of all mankind, and we don't need to sacrifice animals anymore. I'm sure the human rights activists are very glad about that. Anyway, when Adam and Eve sinned, of course, that brought a curse upon the whole earth. One of the reasons that all of us have problems, we have sickness, we die, we have so much sin in the world, is because of the original disobedience of Adam and Eve. And you and I can't think we would have done any better. I think if I had been in the, in the garden and I had been tempted by the serpent, I would undoubtedly have done the same thing that Adam and Eve did, which was to sin against God and disobey God, because we all do. All of us are guilty at some point. Thank God that Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, loves you and me so much. He was willing to give his life to save our life. We owe everything to him. Every Sunday we come together to remember what Jesus did for us, that he died for us. It's a memorial service every time we worship. So you might be saying, well, Pastor Rick, I'm busy. I got this, that, and the other. You know, I can watch five minutes a week, but I don't have time to go to church. If your best friend died and saved your life and there was a memorial service for him, would you go? Of course you would. I would, and I go every week because Jesus is not only the Lamb of God, he's also my best friend. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day.